Well, as we see a rising number of COVID-19 patients admitted to Rhode Island's hospitals, one hospital group is holding a virtual hiring event today. Alexandra Leslie is explaining this and why hospital staffing could still be a concern even after Rhode Island gets its first doses of a vaccine. One virtual session down and one to go. If you have a healthcare background, Care New England wants to hear from you. Their second round of virtual interviews is happening from two to four today. We have been putting out call to actions to anybody who wants to roll up their sleeves. Skills for Rhode Island's future is partnering with Care New England to fill 250 available health care positions. Registered nurses, certified nursing assistants and medical assistants, but they're also looking for all, all levels in the health care system. Care New England is looking to staff its field hospital in Cranston plus Kent Hospital in Warwick. More details are on WPRI.com. As the United Kingdom administered the first COVID-19 vaccine to nine-year-old Margaret Keenan today, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration inches closer to authorizing Pfizer's vaccine here. Rhode Island's COVID-19 vaccine subcommittee is anxiously awaiting this day, but is worried the ongoing hospital staffing shortage may hinder vaccination efforts. Obviously, the vaccine is coming at a very important time, but a very difficult time because everything is surging everywhere. So healthcare workers are in high demand. Uh, so again, we have concerns about having enough vaccinators and also about of people being out of work. The subcommittee is figuring out how many healthcare workers can get the vaccine at a time, noting that the vaccine's immune response may cause people to develop symptoms and need to stay home from work. I'm Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.